All right, so some videos are general and some videos are specific. This is a specific video. Um, the project I'm working on is Tico, which is a, a board game. And what we've got right now is this blue area and I want to draw a board to work on. So no worries, we can do that. We'll just head over to the board view file and in here, I'm going to start drawing the board. So the first thing I'll do is reset the draw color of the canvas to black. Okay, now let's go ahead and draw the lines. Now a Tico board is five by five. So we'll set up a loop which goes through five iterations. And I want to also get some parameters. So I want to get the width and height of each cell on the board. Now I could work this out a few bunch of different ways, but I'm just gonna keep it very simple for now. Why not? I'm gonna say we'll make cell width, which is 32 bit integer. And I'll get that by taking yeah, I'll take the screen area. Yep, width, as we can see here, we have a few options. I'm going to go with the int 32, divide that by five. And we'll do the same thing for the uh, cell height. Okay, so we have those ready to go. We can go ahead and use them now. So I want to take my canvas and tell it to draw a line. We have uh, start and end. So the start is a point class. We can actually show this. So let's say we want to go from the, oh, what are we? Going horizontal, let's go horizontal. So we'll go from the left side of the screen, which is cell width over two. That'll shift us a little bit from the left. And then we'll go cell height over two plus i times cell height. Okay, so that will be drifting across from start to end. Then I can take that again and declare that for the the end parameter. I just want it to be all the way on the right. So I'll go um, self screen area width minus that, but otherwise at the same height. And we'll just go save this and it will give us some errors. Just hover over these. It says, uh, no, well, that's not right. Well, those errors don't makes sense. But the, the point is, we know the coordinates, how do we make a how do we make a point? It turns out we just need to go to um, this line up above and use SDL to rect point. Okay, so then I want to make a new point for these. So no problem. I'll just go point new. Yeah, okay, cool. Cool. And just to emphasize that, I'll just get rid of that as I had it before. Give me an error. Well, you should be giving me an, giving me an error. Anyway. Okay, so we'll do the same thing as before. We will unwrap that. Again, not strictly necessary. It works without it, but I don't like yellow, yellow warning text. So we'll just go with that. So we'll just give that a go. Check that it's working. Mm. One, two, three, four, something's off. Okay. Okay. What do we have? Oh yeah. We should be changing this, taking the width and the height separately. Okay, 
That's my bad. That's on me. Okay. Oh, yeah. Nice. Perfect. Nice and even. Those are our horizontal lines. Okay. So fair enough. Now we can just run this again to make the vertical lines. And let me see. So I want now for my X to be incrementing. So I'll add I times cell width and the same X coordinate for both. And I want my Y coordinate to go from the top to the bottom. So I'll just go um, cell height over two to be at the top and then to be at the bottom I'll take my screen area height and move up a little bit. So we're not quite at the bottom, we're just above the bottom. Okay, so hopefully that is going fine. We'll give that a go. And we have our board. Now, in addition to this, in Tico, we don't just connect lines vertically and horizontally, but diagonally as well. So if you like, we could go ahead and create a set of diagonal lines. Now that's not particularly tricky, it's just fiddly, there's a lot of details. So I'm not going to demonstrate that here, but if you go and look in the GitHub repo for this, the, the final code will include those diagonal lines. Anyway, so um, that's it for now. We've got our board displayed and uh, I guess we'll see where we go from there. All right, see ya.